the game to see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go. Diego, how are you feeling? No, I'm very happy that we won the Calle Contribu, we came out well, we didn't get hurt, and that we came here to give another fight. Did it make you difficult, your style? Did it make you adapt to how you were fighting? Yes, it was a bit difficult, I was getting a lot of pressure, I was getting a little bit of the fight, but we did what we could, we tried to do what my dad told me, but at the same time, we tried to do what the people wanted to do. Para, para, para el público, so por eso, pero hicimos un poquito los dos para y le hice caso un poquito a mi papá y también a, a, le hice para para la gente, para los fans. ¿Qué se sintió Lío cuando entraste? Este, te trajeron por el, por, por el lado largo, este, sí. te trajeron por toda la afición, todos estaban muy contentos con verte. ¿Cómo, cómo, te, cómo te sentiste cuando llegaste? No, contento, este, feliz de poder saludar a la gente antes de pelear, saludarlos y, y que se tomen fotos y que me tacharlos. Este, por ellos, para eso yo soy para ellos. También mencionaste otra vez este, a Gary Russell. Sí. Todos, todos hablan de, de Gervante Davis. Sí. ¿Qué es lo que tú quieres? Sí, que hemos esas peleas, que hemos todas las peleas grandes contra, contra Gary Russell, Oscar Valdez, Carl Frampton en la tercera, este, George Warrington, y si no, subir a, de peso a 130 y subir contra Gervante Davis. Sí. No, este, mi papá me dijo, boxealo, my dad told me, oh, box, boxealo. Y yo le dije, ok, lo voy a boxear, pero y los últimos lo voy a hacer para la gente. Le dije, mi papá me dijo, no, porque puedes agarrar un golpe o algo, pero este, le, lo desobedecí un poquito, pero y también y impresionar a la gente, le, lo quise, quise que la gente se emocionara, porque para eso estamos para pelear para la gente. ¿Was he tougher than you expected? Yeah, he was. No, 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 he wasn't tougher. I know he was going to be tough, you know. When I saw him against Joseph Diaz, I know he could take a punch. I got him to the body really good, and he was able to take, you know, he's a strong fighter, and he comes really, he came really prepared. Did he hurt you at all? Did he hurt no, you at all? No, he didn't hurt me at all. You know, he's tough and everything, but he never hurt me. Is there anything that surprised you in the ring with him? No, yeah, he was able to, do, to take a punch in the body. You know, I got him to the body really good. I think I left him like a bruise too, and he didn't go down. He, you could tell like he really worked because his body is really built, and he, you know, he got like no uh, fat percentage. So, you know, he was really fair. Beyond the red on your face, is there any pain or anything, hands yeah. or anything? You're just 100 after? Yeah, I'm 100%. You know, I don't feel no pain or nothing. I feel good. Thank God uh, we came out clean, but uh, uninjured, and, you know, we go home safe. As they asked in the ring, how fast do you want to come back into the ring, come back? You know, if I could, I would come as fast as I can, but you know, maybe June, July, we're going to back, but whenever I'm ready, I'm going to go back to the gym, I'm going to take maybe a few weeks off and then go back to the gym, and we want to come back as soon as we can. So those body punches you hit them with, yeah. you was expected to put them back with those? Yeah, of course, yeah, you know, uh, I, I, got, I was practicing those body shots really good, and I got, I felt I got him with a few, and I felt I hurt him, but he didn't go down, he didn't want to go down. Yeah. In English, yeah, so. Leo, the, the last 10 seconds, talk, do you guys just kind of uh, verbally agree to like, all right, let's go? Yeah, he was like, come on, let's go. I said, all right, let's go. Let's get to the fans. And that's what we did. Yeah. Leo, se notó que estabas disfrutando el combate siempre. Sí, no, yo siempre, you know, este, mientras la gente le, le guste, mientras ellos estén aplaudiéndonos, para mí es una emoción. Para eso estoy aquí, para darle explicar a toda la gente y salir con el triunfo, gracias a Dios. Tiraste más de 1,200 golpes en la pelea. ¿Así estaba planeado? Sí, nosotros para eso entrenamos siempre, para tirar bastantes golpes. Siempre vinimos a pelear. Mi papá siempre me dice que en el entrenamiento, durante los tres minutos, tenemos que estar trabajando, trabajando. Por eso yo pienso que cuando vengo y peleo, tiro esos golpes, porque en el y mi papá siempre me está empujando, me está empujando que, que no descanse, que siempre esté tirando durante los tres minutos y que para eso tenemos el minuto para descansar. What was the game plan going in? Uh, you know, my game plan was boxing, you know, boxing from the outside, you know, I'm longer than him and, you know, box move and throw my combinations, but I you know, it's really hard once you're up there, you want to please the fans, you want to, that's why I brought at times and I stay there to, to entertain the fans. What did your dad say after the fight, man? Uh, you know that I didn't listen to, you know, because he was telling me to box, but I said, yeah, you can entertain the fans, but you got to be smart too, you know, you, you, know, you, could, you could risk a lot right there because he could catch you with a good shot, he could drop you. Uh, but I said, yeah, I know, but I, I felt like he wasn't hurting me, so that's why I went. Is that the fight you wanted after this time off, kind of a, a good scrap, go, go the full 12 rounds? And yeah, of course, you know, I, I want to go for 12 rounds, so, you know, to go on. Uh, uh, to, to test it and to, so I could get my body used to it and, and the better fights, you know, improve and look better. Did you feel any anything going into this fight considering the fact that it was going to be on Big Fox, over 100 million televisions could be watching this event and everything like that, plus you're leading into a month away from the Spence Garcia pay-per-view and obviously they're pushing that as well, so did you feel anything going into this fight thinking like, I got a lot of eyes on me? Yeah, no, yeah, I knew I got a lot of eyes, you know, I want to get more fans, I want people to know me, I want people to say, oh, I want to watch this kid again, and that's what we work for you know we went out there and did our best we did what we could and hopefully the fans they loved it and they want to watch me again
Would you fight UK? Would you fight Frampton or Warrington in UK? Of course, you know, I, I would love to travel, you know, I've I never been over there to fight. So if they offer me and my team, they want me to go over there, if they say yes, I'll go over there. Is there a preference of all those names who you want next? I don't know, you know, I'm just going to leave it to my team, whoever they say I'm going to fight next. They, they just have to come and say, you're going to fight Gary Russell? I yeah, fight him. You're gonna come, they say they're going to come and fight Davis? I have no problem. I, whoever they tell me, I fight. Okay. No, que es un, es un gran peleador, rival, aguanta bastante, este, viene a pelear, viene a dar espectáculo, no se rinde, viene para frente, le pegamos, pero siempre viene para frente y es lo que a la gente le gusta. Mira ese espectáculo que aguantan y que están tirando y aunque les, los, les está pegando, tiene muchas gallas. ¿Qué le dices a la afición de México que te ha seguido? No, a toda la gente de México que muchísimas gracias por todo el apoyo, este, ojalá me sigan apoyando. Nosotros estamos aquí para pelear para ellos, para representar a México y un ser orgullo mexicano. Those are the names you're looking at next, Leo. Uh, yeah. Gary Russell, Tank, the, the names you just said. Yeah, of course. The, the level of names yeah, those are the names I want. You know, I'm going to push for those fights. Uh, another thing is, you know, whoever my team is coming, they say, uh, that's what I'm going to fight, but uh, those are the names I want. Leo, un saludo a Puente de los Guantes México, como siempre. Sí, un saludo a Puente de los Guantes México. Muchas gracias por todo el apoyo. Saludos, bendiciones y que estén bien. Gracias. Yeah. Brief, please, with the performance, Leo. Uh, I think I could have done better, you know. I think I would have loved to uh, give better. Uh, but, you know, as, home, as long as the fans, they like it, they go home happy, I'm happy, you know. But I'm going to try to improve, do better, and next fight, I'm going to try to do better. Do you, do you, did you have an opportunity to finish up? Did you, you know, I, I, I saw that hearing, him, but, you know, he's tough opponent. Yeah, you know, I was going to land him, like I said, good punches. He was able to take them, and I didn't want to risk it. You know, my dad said, oh, don't risk it, because when you stay there, he, trays, he throws those big hooks, or he, he throws wild, and he'll catch you. So I said, he said, don't risk it, so that's why I didn't risk it. What was the best thing about tonight for you? Uh, you know, the fans and that, you know, hopefully they get went home happy that they like the fight. That's what I always worry about. When I come into the fight, I'm not worrying about winning. I just want to give the fans a good fight, and that's what I hopefully I did. Yeah. Have, you, have you received any assurance from anyone like Damon about who your next opponent will be for sure? Mm -hmm. We haven't talked about that, but, you know, I'm going to tell him that uh, the, the name is I want, I want and uh, whoever he says, um, you know, that's what we have a manager, a uh, promoter, so they could pick up who if we wanted to fight, and that's what we're going to go, but we're going to tell him what we want, and if whatever he says, we're going to go with that. Uh, when will that be? When do you think you're fighting again? I think, you know, I want to go back as soon as I can, you know, I'm not tired or nothing, so um, we're going to try to push it as soon as we can, but we're going to be back. We want to fight three times this year. Did you make your dad happy? Uh, I don't know if I made him happy, but you know, he, he was upset a little bit, but I think at the end of the day, he's happy because we, you know, I think we gave the fans a great fight and that's what he worries too about, that the fans, they keep on supporting us and that they go home happy too. Yeah. How important was it to see your father back in the fire for this uh, fight? It was very important because, you know, seeing him, you know, every day struggling, going through what he's going through, you never know if he's going to be able to be here with me. And for him for him to be here with me is a great, you know, mo uh, motivation and great strength that I have here with me because every day I'm scared. I wake up scared that he's not going to wake up or something. And that's the thing I'm worrying about uh, almost every day by day. Sí, sí, claro que sí, un saludo a toda la gente de Michoacán. Muchísimas gracias por todo el apoyo, que siempre me apoyan en las buenas y en las malas. Gracias y ojalá les dé una buena pelea. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Gracias a ustedes, gracias a todos ustedes, a todos los fans. Gracias. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the Patreon com backslash the boxing voice we have tons of exclusive from border wars and title betting shows the list goes on and on and on but in addition to that if you guys have questions for fighters trainers and promoters this is where you can submit them we will run out get these questions answered and put it back on the show just for you guys appreciate it peace